Santa headlights, the tailpipes. Are you subscribing to our channel? Because every once in a while, I got to put out a message for a lost and found. This is a lost and found McLaren. Lost and found. There's keys in it. So if anybody can come out and get into this car and take it away, it's probably theirs. Lost and found right here. Subscribe to our channel because someday you may get to show and drive away with this McLaren. Celebrity cars putting on car shows. Southern Nevada. Headlights to tailpipes. This is Josh. Headlights and tailpipes, and you walk around the shows and whatnot, and this is a family affair, but you always gotta have security, and this is our security right here. <laughs> Alright, no, it's not your security. You know what? Let me just go, let me go on this side. Alright, because I'm I'm getting the sun on him. We work out at the same gym. I don't know if you guys notice we work out at the same gym. And a lot of the cars here have great stories, but I don't want to tell you the story about our gym. Tell me, brother, what are you seeing out here this morning? Nothing but classic cars, beautiful rides. A lot of wrench work going in, a lot of busted knuckles, some beautiful stuff. I could learn a lot from this smooth talking, fantastic, marbled out specimen of a man. Now, what do you like at this car show here? What is a show that just jumps out at you? Well, I'd say my car, my 57 right there, really kind of jumps out at me since I kind of put all the muscle and hustle into that. Wait a second, I thought this guy was a fan and he is an owner? Back that camera up. Back that camera up, back that camera up, back that camera up. Cranberry. I got classic cars, I got classic colors here. What is this? What is going on here, brother? So where we started from was an original 327 that somebody tried to resto mod. So in that, we decided to pull the whole thing apart, throw in a Blueprint 383 Stroker, 460 horsepower with the Holly Brawler carb. And, uh, and then we changed the transmission into a 350 with an overdrive. Got rid of that rear end, the factory rear end, put a Corvette positive traction rear end on there. So it was a numbers matching 1957 Corvette rear end. Changed the whole brake system, changed the whole suspension system. Did the interior, got rid of all the old gauges, put all new digital Dakota gauges in there. So try to make it a uh, family car. So as you can see, there's a car seat in the back for my boy. And uh, you know, he enjoys the ride like anybody else. I just love how smooth this guy is. You know, I just gotta walk around to this side, right? And get between him and the camera because he's got way too much of a presence. Okay, so you got a beautiful car, a family affair, here from the headlights to the tailpipes. You know what? You can just do anything and everything and just incorporate it into your life, and he has. I love it. Where are you? Why aren't you walking around here? Thanks, brother, for coming out. Appreciate you. For sure. Merry Christmas. Are you hit? Are you guys subscribing? What just happened here? Did somebody pull a Gremlins? Did somebody drop a little bit of water on a Hot Wheel and explode it into beauty? What did you do? What did you do? I bought one of my dream cars. It's something I've wanted for years and years and years. And I was finally able to get one when I retired. What is it? It's a, this one's a Birkin. They're same as the Caterham, or it's a, it's a continuation of the old Lotus Super 7s. So if you ever wanted to retire to Las Vegas at 26 years old, and you drive a car like this, ask this guy what he's doing to it. All right, so specifically, do you take this out to the track? Oh, they're great on the track. I don't track it. I'm too old, and, and I don't want to break it. I'm, I'm retired. I, I can't afford to fix it now. I don't work on it myself anymore. Um, I can't believe at 26 years old, he thinks he's too old, folks. You're watching the headlights to the tailpipes. Are you subscribing to our channel? Because you need to find out what this young chicken is doing to have this car. So come back to it just for a second. What do you do? What happens with your hair when you're driving it? I put it up underneath the hat. Oh, he puts it up underneath the hat. All right, let's tell you more about the car now. What kind of horsepower we got? Got just 205 horsepower and it's 1,400 pounds. 1,400 pounds, 200 horsepower. This thing is a rocket ship. It's about the same as the Lamborghinis and Ferraris. And 
Haha, <laughs> Lamborghinis and Ferraris. But you guys paid like four or five times more than that. Yeah, these are these are these are affordable. A little Ford motor, little Ford four cylinder out of a focus, five speed transmission. I will never look at a Ford Focus again the same way. Alright? Alright, so dun dun dun! A Ford Focus motor and all right, if I open up the hood and my Ford Focus and it looks like this, I'm buying a Ford Focus. That's awesome. It's, uh, it's just as bare minimal stuff that you would have to make it a, a, a car, a street legal car. The original Lotuses they built were back in the 50s, late 50s. Uh -huh. And then in, in the mid-70s, Lotus sold the rights to this car to Caterham and to Birkin. And I think Westfield eventually got the... the uh, the, they are allowed to build them as well. Okay. Um, Lotus quit making these, and uh, but they were still such a demand for them. They're still making them today. Oh, I know. It doesn't seem focused right to you right now because there's a theme here. There's a focus out of focus because there's a focus motor under there. All right. Now I'm going to give you guys a little lesson on getting into this Ford Focus powered <laughs> beauty. All right. You guys ready for this? So I put a hand. Where do I put my hand? You can hold on the roll bar and put your left hand behind you back on the on the here. Put, put your feet in. Just stand up in there. You'll be fine. Uh-huh. Oh, man. And oh, sugar. And don't let your butt drag the ground. Oh, don't let your butt drag the ground. That was the instructions I just got. You're watching Headlights and Tailpipes here in Las Vegas. Are you watching Headlights and Tailpipes? Are you? Are you subscribed to our channel? Because there are stories from those headlights to those tailpipes back here. And one of those is there's a Ford Focus motor underneath that doozy. Did you watch the video? Are you subscribed to our channel? Come on now.